the fires of the Romanian revolution were still burning. The collapse of the old dictatorship offered each individual a new start, and before a worldwide audience, they had the perfect stage to play for their futures. The flag with a hole in it, the Ceausescu state seal had been cut out, symbolized the escape from a regime which had exploited the game and its players. Six months earlier, a violent and bloody revolution had overthrown Ceausescu and revealed horrors most Romanians knew nothing about. The foundations for a fresh start had been laid, but in a way, the World Cup came as a welcome distraction. And the Romanians grabbed their chance, defeating the Soviet Union in their first game and impressing a host of scouts from clubs across Western Europe. They were beaten by Cameroon, but still qualified comfortably for the second round. Their odds had been halved, and the scouts had doubled. But the chance of a place in the World Cup quarterfinals for the first time was to hinge on a penalty shootout against the Republic of Ireland. With the scores level at 4-4 on penalties, Timofti was next up for Romania. So if David O'Leary scored for Ireland, Romania would be eliminated. The Irish went through and the Romanians were on their way, but certainly not home. Haji and eventually four others went to Spain. Lupu went to Greece, more were to follow. Lupescu moved to Germany with three teammates. Rotario transferred to Turkey. Radicoyu and Lakatouche to Italy. Popescu and Sabau moved to Holland. The scars and memories of the Ceausescu regime will remain for a long time. The new order has been described as communism with a capitalist face. Annual inflation is at 100% but the big companies are beginning to invest. The average Romanian earns between just 50 and $100 a month. But for Ili Dumitrescu, it's a little different. The 26-year-old captain of Stoia Bucharest is the highest paid player in Romania. He was a member of that 1990 World Cup squad, but was too young to leave the country. After all the valuable players left Stour to go abroad, I had to sign a contract with the club until 1994. It seems they believed that a new team could be built around Ili Dumitrescu. But now his turn has come. He's the Romanian player of the year, the league's top scorer, and an ever-presence in the national side. Dumitrescu is now the most sought-after player in the Balkans, and there's a chance that even before the World Cup, he'll be on his way to one of Europe's biggest clubs. Off the field, Dumitrescu is one step ahead of the rest as well. In Romania, football gives him a privileged position, financially and socially. Not only has he been carefully preparing himself and his family for a move abroad, but he's been developing his own business. Along with his personal manager, Sika Buscocci, he's the Romanian representative of an Italian petrol products company. We have always had certain advantages compared to the general population. I wasn't at all surprised that after the revolution we were offered better financial rewards, better contracts for our performance. I've certainly never heard anyone say that I earn a lot of money without doing much. It's not something that I've ever come across. I've certainly never had a conversation on this subject. I think that the Romanian football team has brought happiness and warmth to the hearts of the people in Romania through the result we've achieved. Not all the Romanian players who went abroad have achieved what was expected of them, 
Georges Hagi, the best-known Romanian in Italia 90, struggled at Real Madrid and now plays for a second division Italian side, Brescia. I think any player that changes from one country to another needs about six months to get used to the climate, the new way of playing and so on. When they qualified for this summer's World Cup, each Romanian player received $75,000 and a car. They're still waiting for the car, but those financial rewards, unthinkable a few years ago, aren't the only thing to have changed. According to the national coach, Angel Iorinescu, the political upheaval has helped their mental approach. Before the revolution, the mentality was such that the players were unable to achieve the performance level demanded by the Romanian public. This winning mentality only became available to us, only showed itself after the revolution. Dumitrescu is certainly a winner. He's not waiting for the world to come to him. He's already negotiating with clubs in Italy, Spain and Germany and polishing up his own sales technique. Hello? I am Elias Dumitrescu. Si. Yo soy Elias Dumitrescu. Hello? My name is Elias Dumitrescu. Hello? Pizda, mati. Romanian football, like the Romanian flag, has a new heart now. They still have the problems of how to retain their best talent and how to make a team out of players spread worldwide. But this summer, they can do a lot for morale back home and add a few more pounds to Ili Dumitrescu's price tag.